Oh my god. I'm so sick. I'm so very sick. Oh my god. <laughs> if there's one thing you do while you're sick, it's you look at things that are even more disgusting and horrible to make yourself feel a little better about how you feel currently. And today, boys and girls, we're going to be talking about something horrid, not of this world. Well, unfortunately, it is of this world. It is something that I must give at the utmost viewer discretion because today we are talking about... Who's that Pokemon? This video is sponsored by our partners over at Factor. It's the beginning of the year. Everyone wants to go to the gym, eat nice, but where's the time to do all these things? Am I right? So I suggest you skip the meal lines, meal prep, all that jazz, and just get Factor. Factor is a subscription meal service that brings nutritious and ready to eat meals to your door. With over 35 meals to choose from each week and specialty options like keto, calorie smart, and vegan, you're sure to find a dish that works for you. All you need is two minutes to heat, eat, and enjoy, baby. And the best part about Factor is their flexibility. You can change your order up to each week with plans ranging from four to 18 meals a week. Also, if you need to pause or reschedule deliveries anytime, you can do that too. You're always gonna want good food, but when you're short on time or simply need a break, choose Factor. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code PAPAMEAT50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you are an active subscriber. Thank you for Factory for sponsoring this video and back to the video. No, no, no. Who's that Pokemon? Pamper Chew. Some people might know him. I had never heard of him until recently. Did a little research on this, and it, it, it felt like it tied in a little bit with a previous video I did, which is the adult baby problem. If you like dressing up as babies and stuff like that, it's all good. Who cares if you like doing that? People like doing weird shit all the time. It's not up to me. It's just whenever you get into the realms where it gets oddly, you know, sexual, oh, no. or it feels like it is a detriment to yourself, which in today's case, it feels like it both are happening. Both negatives are happening towards this this person. Paper Chew is just a guy who likes to find used diapers. He likes to wear them. He likes to smash them. He loves di diapers. I'm just going to throw you into it. We'll just see how this works. Paper Chew is a YouTuber from Beaverton, Oregon, who is an ABDL, which you remember from the previous video, is adult, baby, diaper lover. Classic. I'm the exact same way, baby. He is also a fur suitor, specifically a baby fur. He is known for having an obsession with Pokemon and dirty diapers. He loves tinkering with old electronics and eating vintage foods, which he claims, if canned or bottled, never expire. I don't know how true that is. <laughs> I don't think anything really lasts forever, buddy, but you know what? More power to you. Let me introduce you to Paper Chew, submitted five years ago by uh, user Yiffin Hell. Let me take a look at your bunny costume. Oh, look at that. <laughs> like that now. Looks like it's the same color grading as a Saw movie, and then it pops up with 18 mature content. Thanks, Reddit. This is horrifying. This is the realistic take of the Christmas story, where he comes down with the, with the bunny suit. So there he is. Wow, look at him. How cute. All in all, that's not bad. Guy in the fur suit, he has a little baby bottle, wants to drink a little milk. In a, what I would assume is a dilapidated, a horrifying trailer of sorts, but there's nothing wrong with that. One of his favorite things to do ever is steal dirty diapers, oh. microwave them, and smash them or wear them. Okay, that, that's why I'm like, this is where it's maybe gone a bit too far. If you're wearing used ones. I don't see why you can't just go to the store and get regular ones. You know, there's adult diapers. Just wear a regular diaper. Nope. This is a thread made many moons ago in 2012 about how Pamper Chew goes and how he gets his diapers, which is a great look into the mind of a mentally disturbed person. So I thought it'd be fun to include here. This is a thread about people asking how they go about getting diapers. We have uh, a user, Charles, saying, I can't buy diaper, so I just go... Trouth track to find some. What the fuck is trouth track? I would love to buy some, but I can't. I just wear them five minutes. It feels like a waste of a perfectly good diaper. I mean, I'm glad. I'm at least glad that he's like. I mean, I might as well get a used one because I'm only gonna wear it for five minutes. And that's when our trusty hero Pamper Chew comes in and says, "Very safe and can be reused, but poopy diapers can make you sick. So just be careful." I have saved wet and poopy diapers from dumpsters for over ten years, and I've never been sick. I love the smell of old diapers and love getting them for free out of the garbage. You can microwave them really hot and kill off any bacteria and germs, then let them cool down before wearing them or you will burn yourself. And he put a little like, <laughs> you know, 
Ow! I hate that. Everyone seems so grossed out from used diapers on this site. If you like dumpster diapers, go for it. Just be careful. Perfectly rational. He's giving you all the, the tips and tricks here. Wet diapers, which I'm, I think he means piss diapers. Piss, piss diapers, they're, they're the best. Poopy diapers will get you sick, but you microwave them. Th that's what people say. I dropped my food on the ground. 10 second rule, throw it on the skillet. Perfectly good to eat. Same with a diaper. Bye bye bacteria. It doesn't feel like you would actually cook the bacteria. I feel like it would like mutate it and it would grow to be something even worse. I have a sneaking suspicion that he got sick. Just going to give you the warning that you can contract diseases through urine and your advice is also very dangerous to the OP. Also, a microwave will not kill off bacteria and it could start a fire. Okay, so I was right. This is a more calm way to approach somebody talking about using and microwaving diapers. Pamper Chew immediately responds with, my microwave is awesome. 1971 radar range. And we see what looks like a fallout nuclear microwave here on top of a, of a mini fridge. This feels like Jeffrey Dahmer's house. Like whenever you find like all the old photos, like his fish tank and shit, this is what, the, this is like a crime scene photo. I also do like that there is just a, a toaster on top of it too. So you know that he's making like toaster strudels and stuff. That's kind of fun. I have been doing it for a long time and I have never been sick. Also, I don't see any way to start a fire with a microwave unless you are a complete idiot. If someone wants to wear a nice squishy old diaper, let them. <laughs> what a sentence. It's for the most part safe to do and will not make you sick. We have an immune system that can handle most things that we come in contact with. Yeah, wing dog. The human body was built to wear you shit fucking diapers and pissy diapers. You should know that. Wing dog once again responds with, take a look what you just wrote and tell me it's still a good idea. <laughs> I bolded your good idea. Also, it is very easy to start a fire with a microwave and something that is not supposed to be microwaved. Your advice is very unsafe and is really gross to boot. You may not have gotten sick yet, but that means nothing. The original post may not be so lucky. You don't understand the dangers of what you're doing or saying. And that's when Pamper Chew responds and he has the cutest little selfie of him here. Jeez. You people worry too much. If someone wants to play with used diapers, <laughs> they should be able to without telling them how dangerous or gross it is. I know it can make you sick, but you know what? I have never gotten sick from it. That's 10 years of wearing used and microwaving diapers, so he's got a point. This is one of the most haunting images I've ever seen in my life. This is like Chris Chan levels of shit. Pikachu has a little diaper on, I just noticed that, okay. Any any person of wealth or notoriety has an outfit that looks just like this. That's what's fucking me up. He has like the Michael Sarah Juno mustard tea. It's supposed just how small the flip-flops are compared to his feet. Those fucking toes are like peeking over. Good lord. It's a sweet fit. It's, it's a good fucking design, man. And also copyright 2012. Got a nice copyright down there on the image. This is one of the first times that we see Pamper Chew online talking about this. And as you can see here, this is so fucking gross. Oh my God. We see a nice collection of used diapers. There's so, there's really like not a lot of things on earth that's more disgusting than like a used diaper. A used diaper is a lot like a dead body. Like it just bloats whenever you get done with it. And so it's just these like really translucent yellow or brown blobs of just plastic and cloth. It looks like it looks like there's just like a bunch of dead rats in these is what I picture. It's one hell of a collection though. You'd think you have a little more pride though, like organize them a bit more. He starts uploading videos online. A helpful one he released was how to dispose of your diapers. You're probably thinking, what am I gonna do, throw them away? But here he is in a bathtub to start off. That's really cool. He has this nice little, it kind of looks like Macaulay Culkin. This is Macaulay Culkin with the stress of having been left twice by his family. Roll the clip. I'm gonna teach you how to flush a diaper down the toilet. Now normally you wouldn't do this. It can cause problems with your septic tank. Who's, who's recording this video? He's got a lot of friends. He does have a lot of buddies? Oh, good for him. See, that, now, now you can't compare him to the uh, Christian thing, because it's like, if he has a good social life... Got that Roger the Alien build, dude. Tank or sewer system. This is impressive. All right. So first... <laughs> he flushes them. I'm gonna be honest, dude. Usually you just throw them away. You ball them up and you throw them away. How did he get his? That's why I'm, I'm losing a little bit of respect for him. You already got to use d diaper. You pissed and shit in it probably. Throw it back in the dumpster and let somebody else fucking dig it out and wear it and microwave it. I wonder if he's worried that he's gonna go back in, forget that he already wore it, and then f if he feels dirty by doing that. I already wore this one. What you do? You just take your wet diaper. Oh, God. Yeah. That is the most rancid, piss-stained diaper I've ever seen. It kind of looks like a bag of popcorn. That is disgusting. Because <laughs> if it's dry, it might flush down and clog up your toilet. So you want to glee ahead of time. I once knew a heroin addict in college, and he talked just like him. Coincidence? That is so gross. Oh, oh. he's mixing with his hand. Oh, God. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, he wasn't joking. He got that fucking toilet. I mean, it's in there. 
flushed it nice and good there. Ten years of practice, it's just your hands are stained with piss now. All right. So what you have to do is fold it into as small as ball possible. Roll the plastic to a small ball, okay. Pamper true, I'm following you. You know what's one thing psychologically about this video that makes me trust Ma is that just because he's wearing the diaper. Like if he was just, imagine he was doing this in his Sunday best. Like a pair of Wrangler jeans and like a polo. I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? But now because he just looks like a giant alien baby. I, I, I believe him. I believe that he does this all the time. This has to be a hotel bathroom. That was too big to go, so we gotta go bigger. Or he's clogging the toilet now. His his smile at the end, I wonder if he's trolling. Because he doesn't really flush it and he throws a, a giant piece of it just wet on the floor beside him. And he does that thing where he's like, I mean, that's how you do it. I'm just wondering if he's like, this is how you flush a diaper, but he's just trolling. Because we all know that he's like, I don't flush these. I collect them. Like when I shit and piss in them, I microwave them. I fucking put them into a manila folder and put it in my file cabinet. We use a nice video of him opening some nice vintage diapers here. Oh yeah, Pampers for Boys. I remember being in a couple of those when I was a baby. That's a good year too. What year is that? 94? It's a nice ASMR here too. Oh my God, he broke the seal. What a fucking idiot. These early YouTube videos, we'll never get this again. Bad enough quality camera, and it just looks like everything you do makes you look like a fucking serial killer. This is a beautiful presentation, the way you rub that and stuff. Go ahead and slip one of those bad boys out. What do you got to see here? Beautiful designs around the rim. I'm like scared watching this. I don't know why. Every stuffed animal in his bed is wearing a fucking diaper, dude. I hate that I'm like trying to justify my head like, eh, you know, what are you supposed to do? Come on. What, can you not be enamored by a nice diaper? But I'm like now picturing him like fucking like stalking through the store. <laughs> if you're gonna look me right in the eyes and say that you're not impressed by a 1994 Pampers for Boys diaper, then I know you're a liar. I got some Disney characters on it. This is the best, single best diaper review I've ever seen in my life. Oh, 85! Where did he, what trash can did he dig those out of, dude? Perfectly sealed? Come on. He started uploading videos of him walking around wearing poopy diapers, which is fun. <laughs> this only confirms that when I see somebody walk like this in public, this is exactly what someone with a fully shit-filled pants looks like. I tell you what, he he wears a uh, he wears a pair of bib overalls, very nice. Those are that's definitely a full bib overalls, though, full of shit right there. Which you know, sure he's walking around Walmart with a shit-filled diaper, but he also has videos of him smashing diapers. Pretty fun. This is Pamper Chew, and uh, I made a little mess on the floor in my last video, but. I made a bigger mess in the tub. Oh, God. Look at gets all gooey in between your toes. Yeah, this is... This is fun. I'm just gonna pop him. Ah! Okay, all right, I'll sit down. What kind of mental disability do you think this is? This guy does not have a good time. <laughs> well, here's another video of Pamper 2 decomposing diapers like that of a body. And you might remember my diapers that were on the roof for a couple years. Yeah, he either sounds like Kevin Von Erich mixed with like Chris Chan. And so I did take it down, but... I like the, uh... This is the most normal Portland, Oregon resident I've ever seen. I've lived in Portland for two years. People would, people would walk by this and like not even bat an eye. You'd be like, okay, thanks. Oh, you live in airfield, right? The bottom of that fucking bin. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fucking throw up. I'm too sick for this shit, dude. God, it looked like decomposing fucking like chicken wings, dude. That is disgusting. It smells good. It doesn't smell stinky. In a weird, complex way, he's very... Why would you think to do this? You know what I mean? It's gonna break down? Well, I'm gonna test that theory. He's like a Mythbuster. <laughs> And I've done these experiments before. I've never done it in this, this length of time, though. Experiment. Now, this is the cool stuff. I know it looks like a big bunch of rust in diapers, but... The art of squashing diapers? This feels illegal. I should... I feel like I should not be watching this. What is in between his toes, dude? If somebody walked in, would he be embarrassed or he'd just be like, oh, so he wouldn't. So there has to be some kind of mental deterioration there. You, I mean, it has to be. I mean, it sounds like it in the way he's speaking, but uh, which I know you guys have been waiting for this part. How to cook a diaper. Here we go. This is the good shit. Yeah, this is how you cook a diaper, man. Woo. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> nice big video here starts off on styrofoam igloos that you use for fishing with a video titled my first diaper collection unbelievable mint diapers here you know you get to know the guy he likes decomposing diapers he likes cooking him like squashing them likes putting them in the toilet but pamper chew all of a sudden announces he has cancer big bombshell on the internet and there is some speculation brought in that did the dirty diapers have anything to do in play here 
Okay, first he had the bib overalls, which, you know, I can be like, hey, you can have a nice... The giant onesie Thomas the Train thing, we need to, especially for your cancer announcement video, maybe just a shirt, you know, maybe just a ray, I don't, that's just me. Said it was going to be either a cancer or mono, or it could have been cat scratch was another one. This is the most optimistic cancer announcement I've ever seen in my life. I can't tell if he's even bummed that he has cancer. They tested two of them. One of them was inconclusive, the other one was that it showed signs of the cancer, so I do have... Uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma. Uh, I'm not worried about it, but everyone else around me is. I've never seen anyone so relaxed that they have Hodgkin's lymphoma. He's just like, hey, everyone's worried about it. I don't really give a shit. Literally a sign from God. <laughs> okay. That didn't stop him. We kept getting more and more about him. Pamper Chew's drinking problem. We get a little more in his life. There's quite the collection of frog and dog paintings on the wall, too. He's like a giant, like, weird dead monkey mannequin on the floor. I'll tell you what, no wonder he doesn't have a mental fucking disorder. He just has, he's just an alcoholic. He's probably just drunk as shit, and he's like, I like the way it feels on my toe, the, the diapers feel on my toes when I'm drunk. Dad, he stopped drinking when he um, hit a dog once. Yeah, it started, that's when I stopped drinking, too, whenever I hit a dog. So people are speculating also, because you're probably wondering where he lives, because so far we've seen different places. Like, it looks like he's either out in the country or he's in, like, a hotel, but there's speculation that he lives on his parents' land in a shed. Pretty sweet setup, dude, if you're a giant baby. Walked in the store with my Pamper Chew overalls on, drinking a baby bottle. And I talk to the people in the back, you know, the first thing you say is, well, hey, I have an Atari 400. Uh, what is it worth? And they said 80 bucks. I said, oh, yeah, okay. I, I yeah, he feels schizophrenic to me. Which we have more videos of him and his living conditions here. So it, it's Portland, Oregon, but this feel I'm, I'm from the Midwest, and this feels like every Midwest man I've ever seen. Styrofoam gas station cup and just a collection of people that look like they haven't bathed in forever. He's got a nice little g group of friends here. Look at that. Their buddies are just cooking and then they're eating over here. What the fuck are you eating? T4.0? Yeah, it's in my suitcase. This is chaotic. <laughs> this is supposed to be about like diapers and shit. There's so many more questions I have, which this is a nice image of Pamper Chew's daddy who's willing to change his diapers. It just looks like an old Asian man holding them almost by his crotch. Kind of looks like he's grabbing his dick a little bit. I can't tell. Got some like gross ass old milk. Parachute really does not look super happy to be there. Don't know really what's going on with that situation. But there's a big thing too with like other people who are these adult babies who are diaper lovers. They really don't like him. They don't like his, like how he does shit. People talking about him, the microwaving of diapers, all the things he's doing. And it kind of gives you a bad name. It's like whenever it's like whenever you have already kind of a questionable habit that you like doing and then someone kind of comes in and does some weirder shit with it. And you're like, well, dude, now you're giving us all a bad rap. But then people start, you know, asking him questions like, are you mentally retarded or diagnosed with some kind of disorder? And just a simple no, no. He looks like Jake Paul here. In this fit photo, he definitely does. With all the cavalcade of crazy things that he has, there's a lot of speculation because much like the fucking Avatar Last Airbender, he's just, he's gone. It's one of the great mysteries of my life now. Don't know what happened to him. His YouTube channel is completely gone. No public postings from what I can tell or what we can tell. And he is just this enigma from the past. And at this point too, like he said, it's like 2012, those kind of times. I mean, it's been over 10 years and we don't really know what happened to him. Where'd he go? There's a lot of speculation. Is he alive? Is he dead? Did the cancer get a hold of him? What the hell happened to him? And Pamper Chew, if you're out there and you feel like you want to comment on this video, just let us know that you're all okay. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice. If you're looking to get into some nice diaper play, if you're looking to wear some diapers for yourself, be sure to look up some of Pamper Chew's old stuff because my God, there's, I mean, like hundreds and hundreds of videos of people who have even re-uploaded his old content just because it's just a bit obscure. It's a bit odd. And he's one of those fascinating characters on the internet. I mean, I know people, there's like a fake religion around him, much like Chris Chan as well. He has that kind of, that kind of like internet allure of like a Chris Chan or like a King Cobra, but it's just so heinous and so gross for yourself. The message that he sends of smashing and microwaving and using used diapers and that you won't get sick from having old shit and diarrhea smeared all over your balls and legs. I, I, that's not a good look. That's not a good, I, I don't agree with that, you know? So just want to say, if you're looking to get into the diaper play, maybe skip this guy. If you're looking to dive even deeper, we'll list some of the YouTube channels that we were looking at, but there's tons of re-uploads. Just a fascinating internet figure. And whenever I was sick, I just thought to myself, how can I make myself feel even worse? Thank you all so much for watching along with me today. I appreciate you. Have a great day.